uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it. So, welcome back to the channel on Bushka, and today we're going to be looking at the tier 10 American Heavy, the M6 Yo. If you're confused because I already did an M6 Yo review, that's because I accidentally titled the M3 Yo video the M6 Yo, and then put the M6 Yo's thumbnail on it because I'm an idiot. Uh, and now that we've moved past that, let's talk about this tank in particular. <laughs> <laughs> the professionalism never went away, guys. I've still got it. Uh, and this is how so many of my games in this tank ended. I had the great joy of playing this tank on patch day where, wow, just holy ball sacks, Batman. It was a grim time out there. There was a lot of stuff that you just had absolutely no chance of winning the game despite your best efforts. And I had a lot of 3 to 4K just dumpings where we couldn't quite get across the line. I am a little bit on the fence about this tank. I take into account the fact that the teams are crap, but I have issues just about the whole theory of the M6 Yo. I'm going to talk about it through the lens, the cipher of two tanks, the Type 57 Heavy and the uh, Kranwagen, Hagen, Wagen, does the ice cream flavor we all know and enjoy. And the thing I like about those two tanks are they are so clearly defined what they do. There are no trade-offs with what they do. They are unequivocally, one is just a monster hold heavy and the other one is an absolute ass load of damage in your face heavy. The Yo is defined by its gun. Its armor profile is middle of the road. It's not great. Its mobility is okay for a heavy, but again, it's not crazy good. And its armor is more awkward than anything else. It's a hull down heavy, but it's like, I mean, the turret is just odd. It's very hard to put into words what it's like. Like the T9 looks like General Grievous from Clone Wars and all the droids. But anyway, I'm getting off track. Let's talk about the guns, which really define this tank. You have two guns. You have a 105 and a 120. The 105 has better DPM and a much faster magazine reload time, but the alpha output is a paltry 300 alpha, which is crap. That's really bad, right? And that takes you up to 3000 DPM, which is important because you really struggle DPM wise with a two shot. It also has 0.321 dispersion, which is much better, okay? And really helps, really helps. The, the penetration, when I run it with a penetration mod, is good. Uh, the 120 has 450 alpha, but only gives you two shots and has a whopping 20 second reload time, which conspires to give you a DPM of under 2,500. So it's like driving the same kind of DPM you get out of a VK7201, which is not a lot of deeps at tier 10. Uh, it also has horrible dispersion, 0.367 when you're running the penetration mod, which I do but the shell reload time is 1.71 seconds. It means it reloads the shell really quickly and you can dump. The problem with this is really, really tough. The, there are just too many penalties for me on these two rounds. Hear me out. In five seconds, you can fire three shells with one gun, the 105 millimeter. You can do the same in the 57 heavy. You can fire three shells in the 57 heavy that do 1200 damage, or you can fire three shells in this that do 900 damage. And sure, this reloads five seconds faster, but that's not always a point in your favor. Like that's surplus value so often. Like you, if you dump three shells in someone, they're probably not coming out again anytime soon. And they're waiting until they get a better opportunity. And the other issue I have is when you're running the two shell gun, like it's so frustrating to be in a position where you fire one shell and it misses and you've got one left and the target pulls back and you don't know if you're going to get another shot and you're like, I've wasted so much time here on this round because it is not accurate and you will miss a lot of shots with this if you're not extremely up close and personal. Um, and when you hit them, they're great. Like when it hits, it's great. But when it doesn't hit, it's like, oh, this is a long time between drinks. And your DPM is such that when you get pushed, you're just eating it. Like you've got to have some kind of support. You cannot be caught alone with this two shot gun. It's 
not a lot of fun when you get caught alone with the two shot. It's DPM tough, everything tough, lots of problems. And this is what I mean. It's kind of in the middle. It's armor is okay if you're hull down and you should be hull down. It's it's pants otherwise. Um, I mean, it's strong enough to get you by, but it's not OP at all. Like, we're not talking that. And the gun, this is like a really good shot for this gun. Like, not, not kidding. That's a good shot for this gun. You can see how quickly it can dump the damage. Like, very, very fast. Very, very fast. I will hazard a guess, because I did not play this in Platoon. If you duo up with someone, he's, this guy's still saying idiot heavy tank. It's FV. Good on him. Thanks very much for the 4.5k. I um, know, oh give him a lucky player just to keep his spirits up. Uh, <laughs> this is the thing. If, if you're playing this as a damage heavy, well, there are better heavies, even in the American line than this. If you're playing it as a hold the line heavy or a breakthrough tank, then there are much better tanks than this. And that's that's a really interesting kind of paradigm. You'd probably just, there's a lot of tanks you can get that are better than this at doing those two things. And I found it very frustrating that I wanted to run the 450 Alpha gun, but good Lord, it was so hamstrung at times. Like if you run the three shot gun, that bat chat there, if you run the three shot gun, the bat chat has better alpha than you. Like. Um, I was, I was like, seriously, like, this is a pretty rough gig to have to run a three shot gun and like, you know, your bat chat running around with a three shot gun with a 14 second reload that does 310 alpha. So it actually has more alpha in the strike than you do. And yeah, I, I just couldn't turn it into something that was that intimidating. 300 alpha at tier 10 is just not that intimidating, but you need to run this gun, I found, to be able to defend yourself in the situations that happen so often in Blitz where you're forced to brawl another heavy tank. The accuracy on the American Type 57 Heavy 2 is like 3.0, and that's slightly better than the accuracy on the three shot. It's a lot better than the accuracy on the two shot. We ate that one. We just wanted to get the chance to clear this bloke. Uh, there we go. So at the end of the day, do I like the tank? Not particularly. I I didn't really find it to be a tank that would I drive over other tanks. Um, like I said, the the Hagen does is obviously pretty stupid. And if you're going to drive a heavy, that 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 is also something else. Like the the way like an Emil or a Cran Cravan or the Vargen uh, works is so much simpler and so much more friendly as a as a mechanic like it just automatically reloads for you so you don't have to make those tough decisions on do you reload an anemic 900 alpha clip before you fire all three or do you hold on to a wonderful 450 120 millimeter alpha gun but have like face a, a 20 second reload while you're having one shot left in the clip these are decisions that I really wasn't that keen to make all the time. And if you're really, really good at the game, sure, you'll make this tank work. But I don't think you'll make it work because it's the best tank. I think you'll make it work because you're really, really good at the game. Let's finally have a little chat about the graphics. The graphics are just superb. Sensational. Wargaming, hats off. They have nailed it. The tanks look incredible. Uh, if every tank looked like this, wow. It looks so much like PC at times when I was driving this tank. It just looks gorgeous. You can see it here as it takes off. And as I'm looking at the other, you know, Clone Wars clone tank. Um, yeah, it was pretty, pretty lovely. I, I mean, I'm, you can see the armor profile there of the T9. Like there's, your lower glacis and everything is ass. You, your upper glacis on the T10 is stronger and it's got a stronger armor profile than the T9. And you will be able to get bounces out of mediums and sometimes heavies at like enough range, but up close, you, you're just getting penned. And uh, as always, premium ammunition is a great, uh, great cure-all for shitty aim. <laughs> I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, share the videos if you feel like getting in the mood. 
I'm getting back into this. I'm starting to swing. I'm starting to zing. I'm starting to sing. And uh, yeah, just look after yourself. Stay safe in the battlefield. And uh, bye for now. See you, team.